Hello everyone, this is Amish from digitalbrainbase.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you another use case on the knowledge base as well as the custom models. Now, before we get into the video, let me share a little bit of a story about what inspired this video. So about five years ago, I was working in a lab at my university and a couple of colleagues and I were wondering, do we have a holiday for Thanksgiving and do we have a holiday for Christmas? We weren't really sure. So obviously our minds went to, well, let's just consult the employee handbook. Now the employee handbook was a 700 page book for some reason that had so much information, but it was really hard to navigate. So if I had the tools that I have right now at the time, maybe five years ago, this process would have been really easy. All I would have needed to do was to simply upload the employee handbook to the knowledge base. And then I can just simply chat with my employee handbook. So let's take a look at how we can set this up. So I'm going to go step by step in this video. First, I've pulled up this random employee handbook. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to have to create a knowledge base that stores this information. So let's go to workspace under knowledge. I'm going to create one, call this employee handbook. And again, for the description, I'm just going to, or the, what I'm trying to achieve, I'm just going to say employee handbook. Let's create this knowledge base and add the content. Now, once this employee handbook has been uploaded, what I can do is go back, use, in this case, let's use the chat GPT 4.0 model. I'm going to reference the employee handbook and I'm going to ask it a question. Can I get a lump sum at the start of the year? And let's see if it's actually able to get this information back for us. Now, because this is a huge document, it might take a while to actually get a response. And here we go. It says that the sick leave policy states employees are entitled to three days of paid sick leave per year. Um, and then regarding a lump sum, yes, you receive a the full three day sick leave at the beginning of each year. So if I click on this handbook, I can see the exact chunk of text that actually gave me that information. I could also compare this with the actual employee handbook, but there it is. It's a sick leave and a lump sum at the beginning of the year. So this is how you can simply upload your documents and then, and then chat with them. Let's see if it, it would have worked if we hadn't uploaded this to the knowledge base, but just simply uploaded the individual document here. And then I'm just going to ask it the same question. So here, Instead of having a, my own knowledge base, all I did was just simply upload it here up on Open Web UI. And we can see that we get the same response, but it's actually incorrect because over here it says regarding a lump sum at the start of the year, the policy described does not indicate a sick leave is provided as a lump sum at the beginning. So that's something to consider when you are comparing the knowledge base versus simply uploading a document to chat with. It seems as though the knowledge base is a lot more robust uh, in that essence. I'm not sure why internally, maybe it's converting everything into a .txt format because if we take a look at the workspace under knowledge at the employee handbook, it, originally it was a PDF document, but now it's just raw text versus over here, this is in a PDF format. So that's something to consider whenever you are going to be working with um, documents quite a bit. Based on this experiment, it makes a lot more sense to just simply upload them to the knowledge base instead of uploading one at a time here within the chat. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please like. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Uh, in the comments section, just give me some ideas on future videos and I'll make sure that those get addressed. Thank you all for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.